Now in this video we're going to do a quick review of the NPN bipolar junction transistor emitter follower or if you like quick lessons this is going to be a quick lesson. But in any case we have NPN bipolar junction transistor there wired as an emitter follower. So the reason why we do that let's say there's a fraction of the supply voltage that we want. We can get a fraction of the supply voltage really easily with the trim pot. You can set it anywhere this is a 10 volts at the supply there, anywhere from 10 volts and anywhere down to zero volts, anywhere in between. Now, if you attach an LED though, after you set the voltage in this case, that's gonna throw the voltage off because it needs more current than the trim pot can provide to hold that voltage. So when you wire an NPN bipolar junction transistor as an emitter follower, the transistor provides the current to hold that voltage. The trim pot just sets the voltage, but you do lose about uh, 0 0.6, 0 0.7 volts approximately due to the base 2 emitter diode drop. Now we got another uh, resistor, generally I see 10 kilo ohm resistors used here. That's what I use, 10 kilo ohm, to uh, help hold the voltage in case the load throws it off a little bit. But in case, our load is going to be an LED. So it's a 10 volt power supply. I already set the trim pot to about 5.6 volts. So we're gonna get about five volts at the output of the circuit there, the emitter of the transistor. So we got an LED and uh, that's the flat side. I'm using a 2N3904. So we got emitter, base, collector, working our way up. It's lined up like on the schematic. Long lead of the LED is to the emitter. Short lead of the cathode is to a 220 ohm resistor because we have five volts across the LED and protective resistor, even though we have 10 volts at the supply. And so we got the multimeter set to measure voltage. Again, I'm just going to go quick. We already saw the power supply saying that we got somewhere around about 15 milliamps. So that's not as accurate as measuring it with the multimeter, but it's still usually pretty close, maybe uh, one milliamp off. But in any case, there you can see 10 volts total for the supply no matter where you measure the two rails right there. Now we will measure the output of the uh, trim pot and about 5.6 volts, as I said before, approximately. Now we come to where the emitter is and there you can see it's just a spec below five. Again, doesn't matter which uh, rail, I have the black probe too, as long as it's, as it's the uh, negative rail, I should say, but it doesn't matter where exactly you connect it. As long as it's the negative rail, that's our zero volt reference point. So there you can see, we got five volts across there. So even though it's 10 volts, which would be too much for a 220 ohm resistor to protect, wrong spot, 10 volts would be too much voltage for a 220 ohm resistor to protect an LED from, it's only protecting the LED from five volts. The transistor is picking up the rest of the slack to uh, protect it. So. That's part of the heat dissipation right there. And ultimately the 220 ohm resistor only has a little less than three volts across it. So that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting to this screen. Click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. Donate to Patreon if you can. That helps out the most, but just watching videos helps out a ton. Thanks to everybody that does that. I will see you in the next video.